Hello, Bill Molino here with the Battle of Burnside Bridge and uh, a couple quick things. I had a great time in the Shenandoah Valley. If you're on Facebook, you uh, may have seen some of my crazy pictures of several days on vacation. We went to the Edinburgh Mill, Dinosaur Land, the Skyline Drive, a couple battlefields, but uh, I've done several videos on my Antietam Birdside Bridge game and tonight we are starting the game um, the plan is I am going to stop uh, doing video uh, move the troops uh, this is turn one and uh, so this will be a condensed version again like I did the last turn or two of the Antietam game um, Let's see how this goes. So you're not going to see me rolling all the dice. You're going to see the outcomes. So Burnside Bridge, we have three 10-man units of Confederates and two 12-pounders against uh, 12 regiments of Union infantry and a couple 10-pounder parrots or three-inch rifles over there. Using Donald Featherstone's beer and pretzel rules again. So. Without further ado, I'm going to pause the camera, and uh, but we will do one thing. We will roll the dice, and once again, for initiative, we will be rolling the Peter dice from Columbia, Maryland area, and the Confederates have the, uh, they will move first, which uh, they're not going to want to move. They're pretty happy where they are on their uh, ridge line. So the Union will be moving first and uh, let's see how they do. Well our Union troops have moved. So as uh, you can see they're uh, advancing across the bridge. The Confederates of course did not move. A um, couple disclaimers. I'm not trying to make either side win or lose. And um, I've already addressed um, flags and um, issues like that. I'm not going to rehash all of that every video I make. I'm just uh, doing some miniature wargaming with big 54 millimeter figures. And uh, that's all there is to it. And uh, I'm in welcoming perfect strangers in my basement to watch this. So uh, I'm going to go on to the Confederate and Union fire phase. Well, we did our uh, Confederate firing. The Rebels fired, and the first 10-man unit was obliterated. The second 10-man unit, um, which started with 10, is down to 6 with the morale marker. Everything fired at long range, plus one firing at column. Um, I did not give them cover of any type for the bridge wall, since they're being shot at from the above. So, let's have some Union return fire. Well, the Yankees, the Union, they have fired. Uh, there are two 10-pounder parrots fired at the 12-pounder Napoleon battery and killed uh, one figure. They're going to have to do a morale check. And then all the infantry of the Union line along the fences firing at long range, deeding sixes, and then sixes again. Actually killed two figures. I'm going to go ahead and do these morale checks. Quickly, um, that unit is no problem. Reroll the six. And how about the artillery battery? Artillery battery rolls the six. And then we have our Union unit that's up there on the bridge and they roll the five they're still above half strength so they're fine we do have a leader out there and he is not injured and we do have a leader of the Confederate uh, forces I'll check a check the range and he's just in range to be checked on a roll of a six he will be uh, wounded. Nope. So that is um, one complete turn, and we're going to pause it. Well, 
our uh, initiative rolls were rolled in the uh, Union uh, move first, and that's where they're at. We have uh, more Union on the bridge, and we have a unit that advanced and did another 18 inch in column, and you can shake out into line. You can change formation of these rolls once. Line to column, column to line, and it's a, a free action, um, either before or after you move. So, uh, the Confederates aren't going to probably uh, move, but we'll see. I'll review my Confederate uh, positions. I also have to remove that um, morale marker. Alright, well, here we are at Burnside Bridge uh, Part 2, or there could be more. I had a hiccup with my video, so we were doing the uh, Union Confederate firing. And the uh, Confederates took quite a few hits. Let's take a, a look at that. So in this part of the video, as you see, our first 10-man uh, unit lost a couple. And a couple more. And a couple more there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do these morale checks. And my videos are what they are. Um... If you don't like them, please don't watch them. I, I don't need a lot of negative complaints or uh, feedback that I'm uh, doing X, Y, and Z wrong. If you'd like to give me some uh, positive feedback or something to that effect, but I will never be a fancy YouTube video person like many of the other miniature wargamer people out there. I'm just goofing around in the basement. And if you like watching these big 54 millimeter games, uh, please continue to watch. And if I'm boring you to death, hey, turn the channel. All right, let's check these morels. Well, the Confederates had an issue. I rolled a one for the unit that was over there. Um, and that uh, made them retreat off the table. Um, so we lost one of my uh, Confederate units on the ridge. The other two are here, and uh, they've taken some losses. And our unit on the far right is almost uh, gone, too. Our Union troops, well, they've lost a couple units already, and they're going to go on to go again. Uh, this is turn three, so let's see what happens. And we're using our... Peter Dice, we, uh, the Confederates will move first, and I am going to tighten up the Confederate lines. I'm going to go ahead and move both sides, and we'll come back. Turn three, Burnside Ridge, 54 millimeter. All right, well, our Confederates side slipped. Um, our Union troops, we have a four man unit that shook out into line and a full 10-man unit our leader moved up and as you can see we're streaming across the bridge still our confederate officer by the way rolled a six previously and he's been removed um, all of these union troops here will be shooting at extreme range they're gonna need sixes to hit it's a uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll the combat. I hope uh, this newer system where you're not watching the entire die rolling process is uh, uh, more enjoyable to watch and uh, let's see what happens. This is a uh, turn three. The Union are supposed to have this ridge I think in nine turns so in the scenario notes. I'm gonna pause it. Let's see how we do in combat. Well, that's the completion of uh, turn three with all morale checks done. The 12 pounders of the Confederate 12 pounder battery is just pouring a canister in. So, any Union unit that seems to uh, set up in line there just gets slaughtered. However, the issue we have is more and more of the Confederates are gone of our uh, original 
Confederate line that was um, all along through here. Um, we are down to, um, I think it's seven figures. And two 12-pounder Napoleons trying to hold all this off still. Now the Union have lost uh, four 10-man units, I believe. So the losses have been staggering. Um, but every turn, a few more Confederates fall, and you know, he only started off with like 30 figures. So, um, we're gonna pause and uh, prepare for our next turn. Well, turn uh, four, Yankees rolled a six, and uh, the Confederates, uh, the Rebels, rolled a one. And uh, I was actually considering calling my troops blue and gray, just just to cause less issues in life. And uh, so uh, we're going to have the Union troops move. Well, we have moved both sides. I have not done the uh, firing phase yet for this turn four. Um, this is where we're at. Our 12-pounder Napoleons are going to uh, uh, take out Right where my big tape measure is, I left that laying there and bad uh, etiquette. So uh, the Union troops are just pouring across the table. Um, we've lost 50, we lost five. It looks like five 10 man units. One, two, three, four. Yeah, um, the Union have taken some terrible casualties coming across. I don't uh, see. Um, my two 10-pounder parrots across, I think I'm going to have them do counter batter fire at the 12-pounders this turn. So let's pause it and see, see what happens. Well, my 10-pounder parrots uh, rolled five sixes, three on one and two on the other, and uh, another two and another six and six. Uh, the limbers, everything's gone. There's one Confederate artilleryman still left alive. The 12-pounder Confederate battery has been uh, wiped out. Uh, the other turn or two, the artillery, the Yankee artillery really didn't roll very well. But there I had some Yahtzee uh, dice. Over here, um, the one Union regiment is obliterated by the 12-pounders at close range. Uh, they get to re-roll their misses with canister fire and uh, pretty much uh, took that whole unit out. And the next unit over lost a couple. But our Confederate unit here lost a couple figures also. So they're down to four. And I'm going to do my morale check right now for that Confederate unit. And uh, they're in cover, but they're below 50%. And on our morale number... Um, they need a four, five, or a six, and I just threw the Peter dice out for a five. So we're going for another turn, and we got to check the morale for the and that leader. And I rolled a, a six on the Peter die, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, I'll remove that leader, and uh, the uh, Union unit there is uh, holding though for the Battle of Burnside Bridge. I think this will be the last turn. I got four Confederate figures trying to hold everything off. Um, you know, going into turn six. But uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll the dice. If I lose two of these figures of the Confederates, they're, they're gone. There's no way they're going to hold out. I'm going to have the 10-pounder Parrots over on the ridge fire also. But who knows? Pause in and we'll come back and see how we did. Well, we didn't do good. The Confederates scored one hit. Uh, morale wise, the Union unit's fine. It's going to hold and they'll all be going up the hill. And between the infantry fire and the 10 pounder parrots over on the ridge, they're all dead. So, let's do a recap. 
So, for the recap of part two of the Battle of uh, Burnside Bridge of Antietam, the uh, Union troops made it in five turns, I guess six turns to get to the top of the ridge. There's no more opposition. Um, gotta say, I had some lucky sixes with one uh, artillery fire of the 10 pounders on the Confederates' battery. Uh, total losses for the Yankees one, two, three. They lost 60 figures of 120, basically, 50% uh, losses. And of course, around 25, 30% is uh, an army break point. So realistically, probably these guys wouldn't have kept charging across the bridge. Um, but it did take it 20 minutes a turn times five. You know, it's about two hours it took in, in game, in real time. Uh, playing wise, uh, this really was about not quite a full hour to play this. And I did have a couple hiccups, but um, in video production. A um, couple neat things. Um, these figures, pretty much in terrain, was purchased at the Gettysburg Miniature Shop on Steinware Avenue with Mr. John, John Jr. Figures mostly were all painted by the great Jim Shaw, awesome painter of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Now, this is all I'd like to know. Um, you know, positive feedback. What should I do? Should I do these shorter versions where I'm rolling the dice and then come back? Um, I think that would be less boring for many of you that do watch my videos. And George in New Jersey and the guys at the sheriff's office. And good old Jack over in Tucson or um, I forgot what city he lives in Arizona all of a sudden. So... Uh, that's one of the things and the next thing is I think I'm going to leave the uh, Antietam battlefield being that I was in the Shenandoah Valley for uh, five days four days here I'm thinking of doing the Battle of Newmarket and the VMI boys so uh, let me know if I should do another Antietam scenario or move over to uh, the Battle of Newmarket and that's about it. I think I shouted out thanks to everyone that do, that do watch the video and that uh, has helped me with these. Um, soon my French Indian War games will be out and my battle on Brandywine Kickstarter will be uh, being mailed out through Superior Print on Demand. So, like always, stay safe, be kind, be courteous, be extra kind. Thank you for watching.